What's up, guys? It's Steeler here from Things to Do in a Game, uh, and Saints Row the Third for one last time. Um, I'll explain everything a bit later, but first, let's just get right to it in the wardrobe. So, uh, compared to Saints Row 2, uh, this one has a lot more uh, outfits and customization of what you wear. So, first, if we just go into suits here, you know, we have the Steelport Guard uniform, which is what uh, I always wear. We have, um, am I going to change it? Thank you. <laughs> we have the uh, priest, the gang member, the things used to make video games. That. Uh, naked guy, going to go away from that real quick so I don't have to look at it. Blow up doll. Mmm, sexy. Uh, blow up doll, spaceman, Johnny Gat mascot, animal, um, uh, policeman, and sort of futuristic policeman. I like to a trade between the policeman and this. Uh, you're going to notice that my skin is gold. I forgot to put it in this video. I guess I could have. Um, if you go to the plastic surgeon, you can change the color of your skin. And now I look like the $6 million man. So now in the outfits, you can create your own. I don't know why I made those. Probably one of the first times I played, I made those. Anyway, so a lot more than Saints Row 2, which is what this video is about. I'm just comparing this to Saints Row 4 and Saints Row 2. Saints Row 4 will come out very soon. So next to the weapons, I feel like they were a bit skimpy on the weapons, if that's an appropriate word. You have the Apocryphist, which I usually have. And then uh, the Stun Gun, the Sword, Chainsaw, Bat, and the Penetrator. But I, I really feel like they could have put some more time into the weapons. Um, maybe in Saints Row 4, they will definitely have some more super abilities, because you're supposed to have superpowers in the fourth one. Kind of ridiculous. And here's a good example. There's only two pistols. I like the basic. I like the basics of all the weapons. Uh, you only have three machine guns. Same thing with shotguns and uh, machine guns. If you keep the basic ones and upgrade them all the way, then uh, they're really good. So you have like the basic one, the upgrade one, and the futuristic one. For each of them, you only get one in the nine o'clock position, which is the rocket launcher. But you do uh, get a lot of specials. So the McManus, the sniper. Um, it really matches my outfit, I think. Sonic Boom uses the sound waves, and then we have the Reaper Drone, we have the Cyber Busta. We got the Airstrike and the RC Possessor that I used in a different video. Alright. Next, I guess we'll go to gang customization. It didn't really change from Saints Row 2. You can still do uh, the gang uh, look and the vehicles. Uh, just move on from there. Stronghold customization. There we go. I'm a bit slow on this. Uh, you can, this one you can actually upgrade your crib, which was a new feature from the second one. Uh, you can make it very big. Now if we go to the garage. They uh, changed the car's names and brought in some new ones and also threw out some old ones. So they did a whole bunch of stuff. Such as the Peacemaker used to be the swap van, but it is now the 5-0, which was the cop car in the second one. They have the new ones like the Gatmobile and the Scrubber. Um, if I could please move. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, I was really slow with this one. Uh, the Peter Liner, they didn't have trailers in this one, which really bugged me. It used to have like missile trailers and stuff. Then you have the Lockdown, which used to be the Peacemaker. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have like the Bear and the Humvee. Um, we have the Atrazion. I still cannot pronounce that to this day. That was uh, one of the still in the first one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Challenger, which is the new one, of course, the tank. Um, you have the Toad, which uh, is very, very hard to find. Uh, moving on to the Block Tank and the Futuristic Motorcycle and the Adrezzi on the blah, blah, French thing. And uh, then, of course, you have the Mars Rover, and that's uh, just about it. There's a whole bunch of new ones, and... I don't think they got too rid of too many of them, except for the Atlas Breaker, which used to be the monster truck. Man, I really love that. Um, I exited the garage for some reason. Get back in the Peacemaker, please. And as I drive to Rim Jobs, I can explain what this is all about. So, if I do an old game such as this or Tech It, then uh, once I stop the series, uh, like I did, well, geez, for both of them, then uh, on the next Sunday, I will do a reminiscing video. Um, because I am looking back on it. Now, if I if I do 10 episodes of Saints Row 4, let's just say, and then stop, it could very well be a couple of months before I do a reminiscing, because it's relatively new. 
So reminiscing is reserved for old games, and uh, it's basically taking over my random thing Sunday. But hey, that's fine with me. I'm running out of ideas. Perfect timing in rim jobs. Uh, lots more customization than uh, Saints Row 2. I can't wait to see the Saints Row 4 customization and new vehicles. So uh, in the performance, you can add like nitrous and kneecappers. Why am I so slow? Just click the button. Click. Click. Really? Really? Did it freeze? No, okay, I thought, I thought it froze for a sec. Thank you. Um, so then you can have, like, torque to make it go faster. The reinforced bumper and frame will really save your life. You can just tank through other vehicles, even with uh, something like the cop car. I realize I could have done this in my garage, but uh, I want you to drive around a bit. Uh, not too many body mods on this, but some of them have... Uh, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? A copious number of them. Uh, I forgot where I'm going now. I think I'm going... Or is this where I show you the... Okay, yeah, so here's where I show you the activities. They got rid of some, uh, kept some others, like uh, trafficking there and snatch. And then they also added some new ones and took away some old ones. Uh, I can't recall them exactly, but uh, some new ones would be like Tank Mayhem, because in the second one, uh, there were no tanks. Uh, Genki would be another one, another new one. What am I showing you now? Jeez, I just recorded this and I already forgot. Oh, the uh, tattoo parlor, I'm not going to show you, it's just waste time. I feel like I am very slow in this. Oh, here we have the uh, uh, Army Island and the Star Island. The Army Island will give you three shields if you go on that, or stars as it used to be. There's the bunny easter egg that I showed you in a different video, and a random island under the overpass. Under the over. Under the overpass. So now I show you the cribs. Uh, I think there's more cribs in this one. Could very well be. I'm pretty sure there's only one boat dock, unfortunately. Anyway, so as I'm driving there, you're going to see me tank through some vehicles because of the reinforced frame. And also, you probably saw that I had four and a half million dollars. It's uh, not cheating. I have 100% of this, 100% of the game. Don't know if I already said that or not. Um, you know, just, just to brag a bit. Uh, let's see, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? If uh, if I ever don't know what to say, such as right now, you're going to notice I'm just going to talk about random stuff just so I can stay professional about the whole thing. And there we go, thank you. Uh, it's going to be a long drive there. I really feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm going to kick myself when I forget it. Oh, j just as I said it, I remembered it. So, some of the videos, I like to have audio, and then some of the other ones, I like to have like the nice background music. I think that Clatter Trap, which is the name by Jason Shaw, uh, give an applause to him for all the free music that you can use at audionautics.com. Um, there will be a link in the description, possibly, if I remember. Um, that will be the official music for SMPU and Reminiscing Now. Unless I want to include audio, then of course, you know, then just forget that. But, uh, really soothing background music. There, I think that's everything I wanted to say. So let's see, I explained the music, I explained the reminiscing. Yeah, I think that's just about it. Where was I going again? I think it was the boat dock. Yeah, so same thing with the boats. Uh, there's three things in here that they went skimpy on. The boats, the planes, and the weapons. There's only three different types of boats and planes, which really made me mad. So the reinforced frame saved me right there. I just tanked through that truck. And up and over. Took no damage because of the upgrades, which I will show you in a sec. Uh, so here you go. You have the Miami, which is the basic, uh, basic boat. You have the commander, which is the uh, gunboat, and the shark, which is the jet ski. No idea why I have two of them. I barely ever drive boats in this. I mean, I, I guess that's good that they don't have a lot if I don't drive them a lot. But this one has, I'm just showing you the missiles and the uh, machine gun. Now, if I can find my way out of here, there's the stairs. Oh, this is a relatively long video for my channel. Oh, where do I go now? Okay, so next I'll, um, I'm going to call up my buddy. Now, for this one, there's a, uh, a lot of new people that you can call, a lot of new stuff. Look, you can call in your own vehicles. You can get rid of your notoriety if you need to. But uh, I like calling up Oleg. If you don't know who Oleg is, then prepare to be amazed. There he is. He's in the back, by the way. Look at the size of him. He's like nine feet tall. 
Um, here I just kill the lady because we, you know, we don't need her. She's just going to weigh the truck down. That's a, you know, bad fuel mileage. Now, watch the suspension on this truck. Ready? I'm going to try to get the best angle I can. Um, if I could get in. Here we go. Okay. Now, after he glitches out a bit. Okay, watch. Wham! <laughs> oh, man. That just, like, kills the truck. Now, he can only ride in the criminal. Uh, we're going to take a short drive to the Saints HQ. He can only ride in the criminal, um, which is the only truck uh, that has a bed. I mean, the Thorogood has one, but he can't really fit. Look at him just hanging on in the back and leaning and stuff. He's on one knee. If he can't fit in your car, then he will just run after you. 18 seconds to revive my homie. Well, uh, she she's out of my homie list. I don't even know who that is, by the way. And uh, I think this is where the annoying part comes. Why to answer cell phone? Every video, my cell phone rings, ruins it, and then my c controller disconnects. I think that's because I beat it on the ground because of the stupid phone ring. Luckily, there's no audio, so you don't have to listen to the annoying ringtone. So here I go to the heliport, and we have the basic helicopter. Next, please. Oh, that's why my controller disconnected. Very professional of me. Luckily, I set my status to busy, so there's no blips of people coming on. You have the two gunships, the news helicopter, the weird-looking vertical takeoff and landing, uh, the white and the black F-69 Tihi. It's a new one in the fighter series. Uh, VTOLs, the Eagle, and then the flying motorbike with a machine gun mounted on it. Don't worry about Oleg. He will catch up. He can run very fast, and it's scary because he's so huge. So here is where I end it. I'm very close. Just... Stick with me until the final moments. This one, by the way, has a really funny ending, or uh, what I considered funny. Man, I, I really wish I caught my reaction when this happened. Anyway, so I'm just going to fly over to the airport to show you how bad the planes were in this. I don't even know if they will uh, insert planes in the fourth one. I really keep talking about the fourth one because I cannot wait. It comes out in... What's today? Sunday? Two days. Two days, right after my... Uh, Cleverbot, which I think I will record right after this. Um, I don't know if you caught it last time I said this in my other video, but uh, I pre-record a lot of stuff just for um, in case I become sick and I can't commentate, or if I go on vacation. Of course, if I go on vacation, I can't really upload, so um, I will definitely tell you in advance if I'm not going to upload any videos that week. Apologize if you uh, really like that. Uh, here I go to the upgrades and show you all of them. Look at all the categories and subcategories. Look at this. I mean, health, um, damage. This is why I didn't take any damage, because I take no damage from bullets from bullet 4 um, that I bought. Uh, it's not because I have cheats. No explosive damage, no fall damage, no fire damage, no vehicle damage, and no ragdoll from explosions. And that's just some of them. There's a whole lot more. Like I said, I 100% completed the game and the achievements. Uh, here's where I show you the minigun, probably, maybe. I forgot what I did. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a failure. Huh, silence. Just waiting. This thing isn't the fastest, as you can see. Very close to the airport, though. So now here, uh, there's the minigun. Here I uh, put my upgrades in action as I do a sweet backflip off the back. And I land face first into the ground. No damage sustained. But poor old guy over there. No idea how he died, but he's face down. He's trying to get back up, but I have to revive him. Sorry, right, I'll revive him, not the other girl, though. I wanted to do a live recording on this, but I just said screw it. I'll just do it like I usually do. So the three planes, we have the uh, private plane, the public plane, and then the, like, the Air Force plane. Three planes, that's it. They definitely did more in the heliport than they did at the airport. Now, unlike cars, I am a very good driver at the uh, airplanes. It's funny how uh, I can pilot an airplane, but I can't drive a car. Very, very funny. Mm, sexy, raspy voice. I gotta do that more often. Maybe I should talk like this. Or maybe I should uh, talk like Morgan Freeman. What would Morgan Freeman say? <clears throat> Let me give it a go. Titty sprinkles. 
Oh, okay. Anyway, so there I crashed into the side of the building on purpose because uh, this is where I'll end the video. Um, special guest Morgan Freeman, thank you. Something hit me in the back and now I'm just posing in the air. For some reason, when you get frozen in the air like that, you fall slower. So don't worry, I still have a lot of time. Um, like 20 seconds until the video ends, or like this ends, not, not the outro, of course. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in Saints Row 4. Um, wasn't the longest video yet, but very close, maybe the second longest. And uh, I think I get, this is the funny part I was talking about, I think I get hit by a couple more stuff and land on, oh, oh there he goes, Oleg landed on me, and then I land on him. <laughs> oh, man. Ready? Wham! <laughs> landed right on him. Alright, thanks for watching. Watch my other four series, and tune in for Saints Row 4 Thursday. I've been Steeler, and I'll see you for the next one. And uh, thank you, Morgan Freeman, for making your special guest appearance. Didn't know I could do his voice that good. Alright, see you later. Mm, raspy voice.